Fantastic Planet French, La Planète Sauvage, Czech, Divoka Planeta, lit. The Wild Planet is a 1973 animated science fiction film directed by René Lalo and written by Lalo and Roland Topper. Topper also completed the film's production design and it was animated at Yuri Trinka Studio in Prague. The film was an international co-production between companies from France and Czechoslovakia. The allegorical story, about humans living on a strange planet dominated by giant humanoid aliens who consider them animals, is based on the 1957 novel Ohms and Seri by French writer Stéphane Wuel. A working title while in development was Sur la planète YGAM on the planet YGAM, which is where most of the story takes place. The actual title, The Fantastic, Savage Planet, is the name of YGAM's moon. The film was awarded the Grand Prix Special Jury Prize at the 1973 Cannes Film Festival, and in 2016, it was ranked the 36th greatest animated movie ever by Rolling Stone. Topic. Plot In the distant future, the gargantuan blue humanoid drags have brought human beings who are called ohms as a play on the French word for man um, from Earth to the planet YGAM, where they maintain a technologically and spiritually advanced society. The drags consider ohms animals, and while they keep some as pets, others live in the wilderness and are periodically slaughtered by the drags, who wish to control their population. Drags have much longer lifespans than ohms, but reproduce much less. When an ohm mother is teased to death by three drog children, her orphaned infant is found by Master Sin, a key drog leader, and his daughter Tiwa, who keeps the boy as a pet and names him Tur. Tiwa loves Tur and is careful not to hurt him, but, in accordance with her parents' instructions, keeps him under control, giving him a collar with which she can pull him in any direction. She brings Tur to sessions in which she receives her education using headphones that transmit knowledge into her mind, and a defect in his collar allows him to receive the knowledge too. Around the time that Tiwa grows into her teens and first performs drug meditation, which allows the species to travel with their minds, she loses some interest in Tur, who has become a young man and acquired much drug knowledge. He escapes into the wilderness, stealing Tiwa's headphones. There he runs into a wild female Ohm, who cuts off his collar and introduces him to her tribe, which lives in an abandoned drog park full of strange creatures and landscapes. Tur shows them how to use the headphones to acquire drog knowledge and literacy, winning the right to do so in a duel. The literacy they gain allows them to read a drog announcement that the park will be purged of ohms, and, when the purge comes, some are slaughtered by drog technology while others escape, joining forces with another tribe. They are attacked by two drog passers-by and manage to kill one of them before escaping to an abandoned drog rocket depot, much to the outrage of drog leaders. They live there for years, joined by many other ohms, and, due to the knowledge acquired from Tur's headphones, manage to replicate drog technology, including two rockets. They hope to leave YGAM for its moon, the fantastic planet, and live there safe from drags. When a large-scale drog purge hits the depot and many ohms are slaughtered, a group led by Tur uses the rockets to flee to the fantastic planet, where they discover large statues that drags travel to during meditation and use to meet beings from other galaxies in a strange ritual that maintains their species. 
The Ohms destroy some of the statues, threatening the drag's existence, the genocide is halted on YGAM, and, facing a crisis, the drags sue for peace. This leads to an era of peaceful coexistence between the two species, who now benefit from each other's way of thinking. Topic. Voice cast Jean Valmont as Tur, the film's narrator Eric Boggan as young Tur Jennifer Drake as Tiwa Jean Topart as Master Sin Gerard Hernandez as Master Taj Topic. English voice cast Cynthia Adler, Tiwa Barry Bostwick, Adult Tur, Narrator Mark Gruner, Young Tur Nora Heflin, Additional Voices Marvin Miller, Great Tree Chief, Master Khan Monica Ramirez, Additional Voices Hal Smith, Master Sin, Old Ohm, Sorcerer Olan Sol, Master Taj Janet Waldo, Hollow Log Chief, Drog Child Topic. Soundtrack The film's score was composed by Alain Goreger. In a review for All Music, François Couture noted, The main theme is very reminiscent of Pink Floyd's Atom Heart Mother Sweet, same half-time tempo, mellotron, harpsichord, and wah-wah guitar, and the other two are a ballad and a circus-like waltz. The music is very 70s cliched and will appeal to fans of French and Italian 70s soundtrack stylings. Although repetitive, the album itself creates an interesting marijuana-induced sci-fi floating mood, blending psychedelia, jazz, and funk. It has been sampled by a few hip-hop artists. In 2000, DC Recordings released the soundtrack on CD, and the soundtrack was later released on LP. Topic. Track listing Topic. Interpretations The film's narrative has been considered to be an allegory about animal rights and human rights, as well as racism. Sean Axemaker of Turner Classic Movies referred to the film as nothing if not allegorical, writing that it's not a stretch to see the fight against oppression reflected in the civil rights struggle in America, the French in Algeria, apartheid in South Africa, and when injustice takes a turn to wholesale annihilation of the inferior race, the Holocaust itself. Liz Ahanejian of LA Weekly speculated on the film being a commentary on animal rights, using the drug's treatment of the ohms as evidence and writing that the film places humans in roles of pets and pests. Mike D'Angelo of the AV Club wrote that the trog ohm dynamic is broad enough to be multi-purpose, reflecting both racism and animal rights via how would you like it role reversal. Topic: Reception. Topic: Box office. The film was reported to have a total of 809,945 admissions in France. Topic.
Topic: Critical response. Fantastic Planet has received generally positive reviews. On the review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 88% based on 26 reviews with an average rating of 7.2.10. The site's critical consensus reads. Fantastic Planet is an animated epic that is by turns surreal and lovely, fantastic and graceful." Howard Thompson of The New York Times wrote that the film offers, "...original, thoughtful, often strong but tasteful animation." Kevin Thomas of The Los Angeles Times called it, "...disquieting, eerie and vastly imaginative." Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune gave the film one and a half stars out of four and called it, "...an animated piece of science fiction pretending to be a meaningful statement." According to publicists for the film, the visuals and story begin to make sense if your mind is chemically altered. I doubt it. Among retrospective reviews, Carson Lund of Slant Magazine gave the film a score of three and a half out of five possible stars, writing that, "...by the film's conclusion, it's hard to feel comfortable with similar episodes on our own imperfect planet." Mike D'Angelo of the AV Club gave the film a rating of, "...B+," writing that, with Elon Goreger's prog rock-ish score, that should make Fantastic Planet seem extremely dated, yet it's ultimately too singular to feel beholden to a particular era. It truly earns the adjective in its title. Alan Morrison of Empire gave the film four out of five stars and called it surreal and wonderful in a way not often seen from Europe. Maitland McDonough of TV Guide gave the film three out of four stars, calling it an eerie, surreal and a welcome respite from Disney-style animation. Scott Thill of Wired called the film a sterling example of the trippy animation ambition of the late 60s and early 70s. Gary Dauphin of The Village Voice wrote that Although the visuals are worth the ticket alone, Fantastic Planet also crackles with emotional and political resonance." Paul Trandall of Common Sense Media gave the film a rating of 4 out of 5 stars, calling the film, "...a jarring examination of racism and intolerance." In 2016, Fantastic Planet was ranked the 36th greatest animated movie ever by Rolling Stone. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Accolades. The film won the special prize at the 1973 Cannes Film Festival. Topic: Home media. The film was released by Anchor Bay Entertainment on DVD on the 16th of February 1999. In 2006, Eureka Entertainment released the film on DVD in the United States as number 34 in their Masters of Cinema line. In August 2010, Eureka released a restored high-definition transfer of the film on Blu-ray, with special features including a collection of Lalu's short films and a 27-minute documentary called Lalo Sauvage. Eureka, a London-based company, has produced the edition only as a Region B release. On 23 October 2007, Facets Video and Accent Cinema released a newly restored version on DVD, including many bonus features never available before. In June 2016, the Criterion Collection released the film on Blu-ray and DVD. 
In 1996, Alpha Video released an English dubbed version on VHS in the United States. <laughs>